Hello, this is Robert Gross from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. I am a father of four. I work in IT. I'm a university graduate. And as a child, my brother and I uh, managed to see the Turtle Lake Monster in Turtle Lake, Saskatchewan. And I'm going to tell you the story of, uh, of that uh, occasion. And uh, as a child, my parents had a small, humble cabin up at Turtle Lake, Saskatchewan at Cobbs Cove. And uh, we summered there every uh, every summer as children, and we had things like mini bikes, and you know those were sort of defining years for me uh, and my brothers. Uh, we loved our time up there and think very fondly of those years. We had a cabin up there from 1978 to about 1987, and uh, the story I'm going to tell you took place in approximately 1986. Uh, I believe it was early that year. Uh, sort of spring turning into summer and uh, I was about 12 years old my brother Dave was about 10 and we were finally graced with the uh, uh, permission to take our little canoe uh, a sports bell canoe 12 foot canoe with a, a four horsepower engine on it my dad uh, finally decided we were old enough that we could take that out on our own and uh, do a little bit of uh, exploring of the lake as long as we didn't go too far and uh, go out to to you know into the middle of the lake kind of thing so uh, we honored that and uh, so one evening I believe it was a Friday uh, my brother and I were looking out at the lake and it was a, just a beautiful uh, calm evening the sun was starting to set the lake was like glass and uh, as youngsters with this new ability to go out and explore we couldn't resist we had to go out and just go for a boat ride that evening <clears throat> so we uh, we took the canoe out, uh, fired up the little engine, and went for a little uh, boat ride. And uh, just around our uh, our home base of Cops Cove, uh, which is where our cabin was, um, we happened to locate, uh, just out of the corner of my eye, I saw um, what looked like a blunt portion of a telephone pole just sitting and floating out in the middle of, uh, just, out, just outside of, Cop of the bay of Cops Cove, out into sort of the main part of the lake. And... Uh, Dave and I kind of looked at each other and we kind of thought, well, that's kind of interesting. Let's go and check it out. Um, my idea was really that, uh, you know, we had rope in the canoe and we thought, uh, why don't we wrap something around this pole and get it out of the way of boaters? Because we knew if somebody hit that, uh, it would do terrible damage to a boat or a, or a prop. So we just thought we'd go out there and wrap a rope around it and tow it to shore. And uh, so we uh, we headed towards the uh, the object, and uh, the closer we got, we realized, much to our shock, that it was not uh, a piece of wood. It it was not a telephone pole. It wasn't anything like a telephone pole. Pole. In fact, it was a fish, a large fish, that had surfaced. Um, it was dark, black, scaly. Uh, as a youngster, I mean, I, it's hard for me to tell exactly how big it was, but I'm gonna guess uh, when I think back, it was probably seven to ten feet long maybe something in that uh, in that realm black scaly um my brother dave remembers seeing a, a dorsal fin and tail fin i don't i just remember the blackness the scaliness things like that and uh, the fact that we were absolutely shocked when we got up to it that it was not a piece of wood that we'd expected and uh, the story of the Turtle Lake Monster goes back many, many years before us. Lots of people had seen it. Uh, we were not the first people to see this. Uh, Dave and I knew the legend of the Turtle Lake Monster very well. We knew exactly what we were seeing. And we freaked out. We were so excited. We, we knew, oh, my, we saw it, we saw it, we saw it. And instead of being smart and sticking around and actually watching this creature, um, we decided to head to shore real quick and tell our parents because it was just too exciting for us to keep to ourselves. So I fired up the four horse engine to maximum and we headed straight back to shore and we ran up our home street of Coon Avenue in Cops Cove and we were just flailing arms all over, mom, dad, mom, dad, mom, dad. And uh, our cabin was about a block away from the lake and uh, we dragged them down as quick as we could down to the, uh, the shore and of course, by that time, there was nothing to be seen. Uh, you would have been able to see it from shore. It wasn't that far out, but uh, there was nothing there. It was gone by that time. So, um, but we knew exactly what we had seen and uh, uh, we were so excited. Um, and sort of that, that was our first hand experience. Uh, Dave and I both saw it. Uh, 
and we both remember very well to this day. Um, and um, in my opinion, you know, there's lots of of, uh, of uh, people out there that imagine like big beasts, you know, big head. In my opinion, uh, the the reigning theory is probably the correct one, and the the reigning theory that we had heard for many many years is that uh, the Turtle Lake um, it, it's part of a river of a river system called the Tur the Turtle River. And uh, the theory is that uh, a couple of river sturgeon, actually, uh, maybe even up to three of them, um, had uh, actually just got stuck in the lake. They just outgrew the, the river because it's a rather small river. It's, uh, I would almost consider it more of a creek than a river, but um, it is nonetheless a small river. Uh, and the theory is that the fish just outgrew the, uh, the river system and uh, stayed in the lake. So, and that they were probably, in fact, river sturgeon. And, uh, from what I remember and from what I see, I would probably agree with that. I, I think what we saw were a couple of large, uh, large river sturgeon, and one of them surfaced, and we happened to be able to see it. And uh, it was uh, a moment that I'll never be able to forget. Here I am in my late forties, and I still remember it like it was yesterday. And uh, something I will uh, go to my grave knowing what I saw uh, that it was there, it was real, it was accurate. Uh, and I know what I saw. People will always uh, maybe question that, but I know what I saw, and uh, I'll always know what I saw. Uh, thank you very much.